there she is, my intrepid intern. I hope you don't mind that I called you in on your day off. I just thought you might enjoy to see how we in the art world prepare for an auction. You're having an auction? The catalog went out weeks ago. I was afraid that I'd have to cancel it, but then I realized this is the perfect opportunity. For what? A payoff. That's long overdue. Have you pulled up the caterer's information? Got it. Excellent. Well, I'd like for you to handle all the necessary arrangements, please. I'll need wait staff, a bartender, a few pass plates, enough food and drink for 30. You want me to order it? Well, yes, I do. Unless, of course, you feel like you're not ready. No, 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 no. I mean, yes. I'm ready. I can handle it. Good. Because I'm counting on you. Tonight, the Jerome Gallery will host some of the most discerning tastemakers in all of Port Charles for an auction of iconic pieces, including our most controversial possession. Not the Heather Weber. Oh, no, 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 my dear. Not, not Heather Weber. No. This. This beautiful masterpiece. How much do you think this horror show is worth? Mid six figures. Oh, I see. You're wondering if I'm as compass mentis as I've claimed. No, I mean, I get that the combination of the painter and the sitter means that the painting has inherent value. Hey, very good. Oh, we're going to make an art dealer out of you yet. But honestly, who would want to hang that on their wall? Yeah. It's pretty nasty, isn't it? Mm. But the art business is all about marketing. You zero in on the right audience, and you can make a fortune. And that, Trina, is what you call building anticipation. Now all we have to do is sit back and watch the money roll in. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't know it to look at it, but this, this is the kind of art that people kill for. 